Hi, this is from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another unboxing episode to do. Today we got T2 packages. Now I know what this package is. I have no clue what's inside this package. Let's do the mystery package. Because in the last ep the last unboxing episode I did, I got all my packages. I shouldn't get any more packages. So this is a mystery. Okay, maybe, okay, maybe we still got more unboxing episodes. Of this. Oh, I forgot about this book. We got two more books coming out then. This is the laughing book from the Rumpa Room. Maybe maybe this is the last package because in my other one of my other unboxing episodes, I had talked about the Rumpa Room with a picture of a lion on it or a tiger or some, some M over on the front cover. This is the second book. Let's see if the record is in good shape. Yeah, this record is brand new. There's no marks on this record at all. This is in real good shape. And this is from 1963. And it looks like this. So this will be interesting. So I think this is the last book I, I was supposed to begin. So I buy too much stuff, and then it comes, then I forget what I buy. And this is a movie. This is for myself. And, and if you remember my Sunday, or, fr or Friday, Friday on Boxing episode, you saw that I had got a bunch of movies. This is this is one of the last movies I, it, it just came late. If I'm mistaken, let's see. Yep, another, another Jim Gardner film. Take out the wrapper, then we can really see what it really looks like. Now, this is the American, the American, the American Cization of Emily from 1964, and this, this is like a World War II kind of. It takes place in World War II. Let's see all this paper. I can see clear without the rapture making everything hard to see. Uh, and this is a DVD. Yeah, I don't buy Blu-rays unless unless the Blu-rays got more than the DVD. But if they're both the same, I buy the cheaper of the two. Just like this. And this is a Warner Brother on the archive. So you look better now. Now, I've seen this movie maybe once or twice back on AMC and Rich Regular TV. So I've seen this in the 80s and high 90s. I've seen it since that. And it's got a commentary. So that's a good thing. And let's see who's in the movie. You got Ju Julius Andrews. So I think she's not Mary Poppins, but the other one. And she's got okay, Jane Coburn, our man Flint. And she did that movie. I can't remember the name of that movie. My no, yeah, My Fair Lady or uh, uh, The Sound of Music. I think is what it's called. Yeah, I think it was The Sound of Music because the picture of the. Always when they showed it on TV, they would show this lady singing on a big giant hill. So I think it was, I think it was, I think it was, I think it was the sound of music. Now, if I'm wrong, you can leave me in the comments. If I'm right, you can leave me in the comments also. If you've seen any of them three long movies on the regular TV, like I saw them, I didn't like them. They just came on TV, and back when I seen them, you only had like four or five channels. 
So they showed a four or five hour movie. Your your day was shot. If, if nothing good but on the other four channels. So that's why I got kind of stuck watching My Fair Lady, Mary Poppins, Sound of Music. They didn't like the movies. They were just on at the time. And this was on regular TV too. But this was better than the other three movies. I'm not a big musical person. And if you've seen this movie, when it first came out, or on TV, leave it in the comments. It'd be nice to know who saw this movie with me also. I don't know who the other guy is. Uh, Melvin Douglas. I can't picture his face anywhere. He's not on... And I don't see him anywhere on this cover. I see Jane Coburn right here. I see Jane Gardner on top. So maybe this is Marvin right here. I guess I don't know what he looked like. And maybe I probably, if I see him, I'll recognize his face. Now I think this is, I don't know if this is a comedy or what, because I only seen it one time, once or, once or twice. And if it's cheap on Amazon, I think it was under 10 bucks, so I bought, I bought the movie. And I think I bought all the Jane Gardner films that are dirt cheap. So I got all his early movies now, from the 50s to the, to the early 70s. And his TV show, one of his TV shows. He did he did two more TV shows that I have to wait till they go dirt cheap to get the. He did Maverick from the 50s and Nicosis or Nico from, from the early 70s when he played a cowboy. He could all the cowboys all the same. They're nothing different between his cowboy TV shows. Even Rockford Fowler was just like the Maverick. He was just a modern-day Maverick person. So all we got today was, if you remember the Rumpus Room, leave that in the comments also. Like I said in my last videos, I used to walk the Rumpus Room when I was little in the 80s, when I used to call the kids' names out, and they had a lady playing with the kids on TV. And they had different uh, skits and stuff. So we just got these two. One for the second channel and one for myself. And if I watch it, I might make a video about the movie. And then you might, and I, I'll talk about it whenever I get a hold of it. I got so many movies, as you see. If you heard one of my other videos, I got about 1,200 movies. So I got a long, I got too many movies to go sit through. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day with another vehicle not real soon.